Code community, Mara Lockley here. Um, today I'm coming at you with a very quick video, but I want to show off a new tool that Lightroom added in their one of their most recent updates. Um, it's a tool that some of us have been waiting for for a long time, um, and it just opens up more options for editing. I have this beautiful image by Tech Pataja today, so I'm going to go ahead and use his presets and profiles to show this off. Um, but this should work with a lot of different presets out there. But basically, Lightroom has added a preset slider right here. Um, I'll show you how it functions in a second. Very similar to the same slider that we have in Profiles, and that's why Profiles got so popular over the last few years, is people like the ability to uh, change the intensity of their preset or their editing tool. Um, but we can only do that with Profiles, and with Profiles, the layer is locked. Um, you don't see what's happening as far as all the changes made it here, and as an editor, I personally prefer presets because I like to see the changes, I like to know that the blacks were pushed or the whites were pushed, etc., and be able to hand tweak those from there. Um, it's just a visual thing, it's a personal preference. Uh, one is not better than the other, but that's how I like it. But now I have the option of adjusting the intensity on my presets and not have to use profiles. So let me show you how that works. So let's open up the Tech Pataja presets. I'm going to run number five. I'm not going to worry about white balance and stuff right now. Um, I would obviously tweak this a little bit on this image. But once I run it, you can see this comes white instead of gray, and it allows you to tone it down, increase it. Um, you can see that gets nice and filmy right there. Um, what this is good for is that you're running a preset on an image that feels a little strong. Maybe your image had a lot of saturation to it, a lot of contrast. Um, you really like the tones of, say, Portra 5, and you want to tone it down a little right here. Or if your image is a little flat and you want to kind of push it, you can do that as well. Um, and how does that compare to profiles? It's literally the same thing. <laughs> so nothing has changed. Profiles, the only difference is that the profiles have locked in a layer. All the presets that at the same, our preset that we've made, we just made it into a profile. It basically took all of the settings that are over here on your right panel, locked them into a layer that allowed you to adjust. So let me go ahead and show that for comparison. So I'm going to do this. Let me go ahead and dial this back down to 100, just so you can see them side by side. Um, and then here's the image. Let's go ahead and open up Tech Potasha Profiles, 5P. There you go. Sliders right here. Same thing. You can see it literally gives us the same adjustability, um, same thing. The only difference is here you can't see the settings because they've been locked. Um, but you can still make the same tweaks. Uh, just like we can with the preset. So if I click on this one, this is the preset one. I can do the same thing. Um, difference is you can see what's happening here and versus profiles where you cannot. So the beauty of it is if you're like me, um, I'm an editor. I like to see all the tweaks. I run presets, uh, not profiles, just because I'm a visual person. I like to see these adjustments and changes. Call it curiosity. <laughs> uh, but it allows me to make those adjustments there. Um, only thing I've noticed is that it has to be done before you make any tweaks. So you'll want to run it ahead of time and then adjust your tweaks from there. Um, but there you go. That's a new tool in the Lightroom, the latest Lightroom updates, and I hope you guys enjoy. 